G'day guys, welcome here in our beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I want to talk to you about hand creams. Now, this video is going to seem like I am sucking, complaining, and I kind of am. But if you want to know more about this video, stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. Look, as I said, it's going to sound like I'm being completely whingy, and I kind of am. You know... I haven't found a hand cream that I've absolutely loved. I have used so many hand creams, wasted so much money over the years, and I have five in front of me that doesn't do it for me either. And I thought I'd give you just a quick chat and let you know my feels about these five that I have in front of me. And maybe you guys can actually message me below. Let me know what your favorite hand creams are. In fact, I might even give you a bonus review on another one that I've had, probably the best one that I had, but I still wasn't impressed with that one either. And that was from the um, chemistry brand, I believe. I'll put a picture up here because I don't recall the name. Now, I tried this one having high expectations of it. And I definitely thought in the beginning that something was going on because it has something in it that illuminates your hands. It makes it look like somebody just dusted highlighter on them and they look, I guess, younger, um, some people would say. But I didn't feel that. Like, I felt that it actually accentuated my fine lines in my hands. I got really old-looking hands. I mean, you're probably not going to be able to see that on camera, but I do. I hate them. They look, they look 10 times older than they should, if not 20 times older than they should. But anyway, I digress. So I went on a little bit of an adventure quite some time ago to try all these different high cream, all these different hand creams to attempt to find something that I loved. And I couldn't find the ultimate, like, hands down best hand cream. Now, I like my hand creams to absorb quickly. I want my hands to feel fabulous afterwards. Um, now, I'm not just talking about after the first use. Now, I'm talking about a good solid month worth of using the same hand cream, I would expect to see some sort of results, whether that's plumping, whether it's reducing your fine lines, whether it's natural brightening, not just like fake um, illuminative sparkles or whatever. Um, yeah, and I just, I just don't find it. So with the chemistry brand that I wanted to talk to you about, it was probably the best one out of all of them. I think that the price was just too much. Um, it didn't last me very long. I think one tube lasted me not even two weeks. Um, that didn't impress me. And I, yeah, other than just um, being fast to absorb into the skin, I didn't think it was really doing anything else um, except giving my hands temporary illusion that they were brightened. Um, so yeah, so I guess the, the only bonus with that one is that it did absorb quickly, but I didn't like the smell either. So I didn't like the smell, I didn't like the price, and I didn't like the effects. So there you go. The next one I wanted to talk to you about is this one that I picked up from Target, and this is the Renew Restore Chamomile and Lemon uh, Hand Cream. And I felt that every time that I used this one, um, not only did it take a long time for it to absorb into my skin, but then I would look at my hands three or four hours later and they were visibly dehydrated, like more than my hands would normally be if I hadn't have used this product to begin with. That was very, very disappointing. And while this is a budget product, um, I just, I didn't expect it to make my hands worse. So I would never actually recommend this one, even though it definitely was a budget one. Um, and I also didn't like the scent. I expected it was going to smell more lemony. Um, and let me see. I just... Yeah, I don't, it smells like a lemon um, disinfectant, and I, I don't like that. So there's that one. The next one I picked up was the Do It Tough Hands for Her. Now, they do it, <laughs> they do it, they do have Do It Tough Hands for him or just the original. I have not tried that one, but this one here took way too long to absorb into the skin. And um, I don't know, it, while it is a little bit more moisturizing than the last two products that I just told you, it just takes way too long to go into the skin, so I'm actually using this one on my feet at the moment. Um, I will pick up the original Do It and see whether that one is any better than this, but this one doesn't do it for me, and um, yeah, I'm just going to move on from this one. The next one I have is the Evelyn Rose Satin Hand Cream um, by Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, I don't know this brand, but if I recall, it's got a really, really strange scent to it like a spicy scent um i don't even know what that could possibly be i haven't even looked at the ingredients um but anywho i don't like the scent of this one and just much like the other ones i was just left feeling a little bit disappointed that you know after all this time um my hands weren't 
soft, I guess. They're just, hmm, I don't know. I, I just feel like I could get more out of a regular moisturizer, a body moisturizer, or even a body butter than I do these hand creams. Um, and yeah, this one has a medium absorption time, so there's that. Then I picked up this Thank You hand cream. Um, I picked up this because I liked what the brand stood for. So a lot of the proceeds, if not, I think it's 100% of the profit, helps end poverty. They, they put it back somehow. I don't know how they do it, but anyway. Um, and I thought that I would like this because, well, I think the scent is what... Um, somebody told me that the scent was fabulous. And it's not bad, but it's, it's, it's not fabulous. Um, I'm using this one up at the moment, kind of like a project pan sort of thing, but once again, it doesn't absorb into the skin as fast as I would like to, and while this doesn't leave my hands dehydrated, it definitely doesn't do much for my hands over a long period of time, so that's a little bit disappointing. Although this is a budget-friendly one, so there's that. And this last one, I actually don't know where I picked this one up from, but this is the Bolniak Body Company Hand Cream Verb verbena cedarwood um i just this one took way too long to absorb into the skin and um once again also the smell i didn't enjoy it let me yeah i mean it just squirted out at me it, it it's it's not as obnoxious as some of these other ones um but yeah i just yeah, it just didn't do it for me it was just very disappointed it is vegan it's not tested on animals um but i just i didn't get anything out of it like my hands after using all five of these products six if you count the um chemistry brand one it's like i never used a hand moisturizer you know like i'm using it and by the end of the day i'm feeling my hands and they feel just as dry as they would if i didn't use them the night before or that morning so yeah they're really, really disappointing, and I am still trying to find, like, the holy grail, I guess, of hand moisturizers. I guess, I don't know, is there one? Because I haven't found one yet, so I don't know whether I'm being too critical of these hand moisturizers or, or whether there really is a moisturizer out there, a hand moisturizer out there that um, really does make your hands feel fabulous for long periods of time um, over a long, you know, using it often. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me go... Let me know down below, guys, if you have a hand cream that you absolutely love, and let me know why. And, um, yeah, because I, I really want to know. I, I really genuinely want to know. And if you got anything out of this video, feel free, guys, to give me a like. Um, I really do appreciate all your input, and I enjoy talking to you guys. And, um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, feel free. Click that subscribe button. But like I always say, don't forget to check the bell, and you'll be notified every time I do do a video. If you want to chat with me down below, I will comment on anything that you put underneath. I, uh, as soon as I see it, obviously. Uh, but if you don't want to chat to me on here, you can always catch me over on Instagram. I'll leave my socials up here for you guys somewhere. And once again, I really enjoyed uh, chatting to you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.